YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to Sprayer Splash Fragrance Reviews. I am Rob. Thank you so much for checking out the channel once again. 2021, summertime, hence the shirt. All right. Trying to get in the mood. Got a lot of suggestions. Let's just get right into it. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. I'm not going to go too in-depth with these fragrances. I got quite a few, so let's get right into it. I'm going to kind of start off with some inexpensive fragrances, going to get into some vintage fragrances, and then I'm going to get into the remainder. All right, so first up, inexpensive fragrances, bang for your buck. First up, from the house of Alfred Sung, this is High. Really nice, inexpensive, think um, Green Irish Tweed, think Catan for Men, nice citrus, fresh aromatic actually a really good performer great bang for your buck you can cop this for about 20 bucks flat maybe 21 bucks 3.4 ounce bottle can't beat it hi alfred sung white t-shirt approved from the house of dunhill this is century this is a 4.2 ounce bottle i want to say you can cop this between 25 to like 32 bucks pretty much sandalwood fragrance inexpensive but smells great, fresh and clean, can't go wrong, Century from Dunhill. Probably the best bang for your buck, clean, fresh fragrance on the market, in my humble opinion, from the house of Lalique. This is on quite an award sport. Had this on my list for like the last three, four years. Think nice, kind of inky vetiver, kind of toned down, aquatic notes added, nice, fresh, clean, crisp fragrance. Great for when it's really, really hot outside. And you can wear this one casual or to work. You can dress it up. It's got, it's got that versatility to it. And once again, one of the better bang for your buck fragrances out there on Cry No War Sport. From the house of Volgari, this is Poor Homme Soir. Think of a warm, overcast, maybe even rainy day in the summertime. This fragrance is green. Uh, it's got some woody notes in it. And it's got this really calm, like, tea note that kind of goes through the whole fragrance. And it's kind of warmed up with some amber, but it's still warm weather approved. One that you really should check out. Pour Homme Soir Bulgari. From the house of Guerlain, Le Bose, Swiss Army Knife type fragrance. Citrus, vetiver, dry, just almost perfect. This is almost a perfect fragrance one I can't recommend enough. If you've never gotten your nose on this one, you gotta check this one out. Perfect for when it's really warm outside. You can dress it up or dress it down. Lo Bose Guerlain. From the house of Carvin, low intense. Really nice citrus, nice musk. If you've never gotten your nose on it, you have to get your nose on this fragrance. You can dress this one up or dress it down. Perfect for the warm weather. Can't recommend it enough. I wanna say this one you could probably cop in the mid 40s. All right, so again, low intense, carbon. Now I wanna take some time to get into some vintage fragrances. First up from the house of Paco Rabanne, this is Pour Homme O. I've been up on this one for about a couple years. <laughs> really nice fragrance. If you think pine and watery notes, they've almost got that perfect, perfectly blended together. One that doesn't really get a lot of love in Fragcom. I think even when it came out, it didn't get a lot of love commercially, but a really well done fragrance and one you probably want to check out. O oh, from Paco Rabanne. From the house of Trisardi, this is El Womo. This is a fragrance that gets absolutely no love in Fragcom. This is such a well done fragrance. If you ever get the opportunity to cop a bottle of this, trust me, this is a really nice fragrance. It's got the infamous tomato leaf note or a cord in it, which kind of comes off like this mineral note. It's really good in the warm weather and one that smells unique and is not dated at all and i'm so surprised nobody ever big ups this fragrance in fragcom because it's it's that good in my humble opinion all right el womo trisardi one of the best floral fragrances period all right this is Insensei givenchy can't say enough about it you know it is pretty much florals it's uh, a little pepper on top, nice citrus, just a nice balance, yin and yang. It's a floral that men can wear proudly and not feel self-conscious about. 
and it goes into this clean territory once it begins to dry down. Just an amazing fragrance and one you should have in your collection, honestly. All right, from the house of Givenchy and Sensei. I'm gonna hit you with a flanker to Insensei. This is Insensei Ultramarine. This is a fragrance actually that I picked up over the Christmas holidays and believe it or not, it's a, it's a fragrance that I know. I don't know where I know it from. Somebody from when I was a kid coming up must have wore this fragrance because as soon as I smelled it, I recognized it right away. Um, some people say it's synthetic smelling and I would have to agree with that, but it's synthetic in a good way. It's a very strong fragrance and one that only requires you to hit it with about two, three sprays tops. It's got like this clean, almost like freshly washed skin type smell to it. It, it doesn't smell like anything specific. You know, it's not like, oh, this is a vetiver heavy fragrance or this is a fragrance that smells like, you know, it's amber or it smells like, you know, whatever note you want to think of. It's, it kind of just has this, this like ambiguous like smell to it where you can't really associate it with anything specific, but it's a good fragrance nonetheless, in my humble opinion, from the house of Givenchy, Ultramarine. One of my favorite warm weather fragrances of all time from the house of Christian Dior, this is Dune. This fragrance was like a, was not a commercial success, but it's a fragrance that when I put on my skin, it just smells amazing. Perfect for when it's really warm outside. It's got this really strange accord, I always say, of like, like laundry detergent, motor oil, and sand. It's kind of got this really weird feel to it, but it just works on my skin. And I'll never stop recommending this one for the warm weather from the house of Christian Dior, Doom. If you were in Fragcom back in like 2014, 2015, this fragrance was one that was an inexpensive cheapie. Some people would put it on list, but it was never something that, you know, was just huge, like compliment monster, one that people were always talking about. It's discontinued now when you see it online, it's like. 80, 90 bucks, where back in the day you can cop this one for like 15 to 20 bucks. Honestly, this is Jill Sander for men. Funny shaped bottle, kind of like weird. It sits weird when you put it on your shelf, but this is just really a simple Swiss Army knife type fragrance you can wear in the warm weather. Um, kind of spicy, kind of aromatic, but clean, kind of fresh, uplifting. It's a, it's a nice fragrance, but it's not anything special. But if you ever run across this fragrance, you know, somewhere 18 to 20 bucks, 22 bucks, somewhere around there. I think it's worth copping it. You may have a hard time catching it at that price now, but if you see this fragrance anywhere in that ballpark, it's worth picking up, all right? For men, Jill Sander. Lastly, from the house of Lolita Lampica, this is Old Masculine, but this is the Spray Fraschier Corpse version, all right? I did a video on the Lolita Lampica house about two, three months back, and I featured this fragrance, and I said this was kind of a fragrance for collectors, and I still stand by that, but if you're a person that really likes Eau Masculine and want like a summertime version, this is one worth to check, this is one worth checking out, okay? So it's, they took all of the notes that were really prominent in the original and kind of toned them down and made it a little bit more watery, all right? So one worth checking out if that's something that you would be interested in. Lolita Lampica Eau Masculine Spray for a Sheer Corpse. Now I'm going to step back into more recent releases. First up, I think one of the better releases of the last couple years in regards to freshy fragrances. And this is a flanker. All right, this is Dolce & Cabana Light Blue Forever. Listen, if you are between the ages of like 18 to 30, you've got to have this fragrance in your collection. I think it's that good. Uh, it's a grapefruit that's very, very authentic in the open. It smells like a grapefruit rind, and it kind of transitions in the middle to like this aquatic type feel. I think it's a great fragrance, designer or not, it's a great fragrance, and one that you should definitely be trying to get into your collection. And it works for everybody, even if you're older than the age range I, age range I gave, older guys can wear this too, and it's gonna have the same effect. But I really think that if you are in that 18 to like 30 range this is one you definitely have to have in the collection but all men can wear this fragrance the same and it's going to work for everybody okay so again from the house of Dolce & Gabbana light blue forever from the house of Hermes Ode Marvellous Blue I've had this on the list a couple years now and this is just a clean almost like I don't want to say fresh because that's not the right word like clean linen this has got a crispness to it and it's 
almost a perfect fragrance. I really like the House of Hermes and the fragrances they do. And for warm weather, this is a unisex fragrance and it's one that men and women can wear equally. And it's just really, really good. It's as simple as that. Take your time, do your research, check this one out. This is a serious contender for Swiss Army Knife type fragrance that you can have in your collection for the summertime. That's gonna work almost all the time. Okay, Eau de Marbellus Blue Hermes. Probably one of the most sexy fragrances on this list. This is Aqua Sextus, Juliet Mod. This is, it's got a lot of notes. I mean, it's kind of got like this eucalyptus feel. It's got fig, it's got musk, it's got pine. It's just a really well done, sexy fragrance. And wow, I mean, it's a little more expensive. I'm mean, gonna say this is a niche fragrance. It's a little more expensive, but it's worth checking out. If you need to have a banger in your collection for the summertime, this is definitely one to consider. Aqua Sextus from the house of Julia Maud. From the house of Ormond Jane, Zizan. Really nice, masculine, vetiver citrus fragrance. It kind of comes off like aroma chemicals a little bit. So it's a fragrance, in my opinion, that kind of smells really good in the air versus burying your nose and your skin. But it's a good fragrance and it's definitely got lasting power so if you're thinking about getting a citrus fragrance and you worry about it lasting this is one you don't have to worry about that all right Zizan from the house of Ormond Jane another one from the house of Hermes this is H24 listen I bought this fragrance off of first sniff went to Nordstrom sprayed it on skin and was like wow it's kind of green kind of aromatic woody with a kiss of sweetness, okay? The reviews were really mixed. Some people thought it was just, oh, let's say most people thought it was just okay, and then a lot of people panned it. I gotta say, I really like this fragrance, and I think give it a couple years, this is gonna be a fragrance a lot of guys are gonna be saying that this was a fragrance that worked for them. What they don't like, in my opinion, is like this, once you get beyond like the opening, there's this accord that kind of comes in and out that kind of smells like an eraser simple as that it kind of smells like an eraser to me um, but it's it never really takes over the fragrance it's just like you you catch it but that's it but just a really well done fragrance in my humble opinion one that I really enjoy from the house of Hermes this is H24 from the house of Amor Oud Silver Birch nice warm weather fragrance nice citrus it's got fig it's got pine it's got musk <sighs> It's got this mineral cord through the fragrance. Really, really well done. One that I think people are gonna be talking about as far as niche fragrances, really, really soon. Uh, Whetstone gets all the hype, but I really think people need to take a look at Silver Birch and give this one you know, a little bit of props. I think this is a really nice fragrance and uh, one you need to check out. From the house of Amor Oud, Silver Birch. Coming down the stretch to the last few, all right? From the house of Karner, this is Fig Man. This is basically a, this is a kind of like a tart, sour, green fig fragrance. Um, great performance, great for the warm weather. Never comes off like overpowering or like, you know, suffocating. You can definitely wear this one in the warmer weather. Um, I would say I would wear this one at nighttime personally. Really nice. It's got a happy feel to it. Fig man, Carner. A staple for so many men. So many men really like this fragrance. It's from the house of Lay Art de Saint Perfume. This is 10 buck too. I got the smaller bottle. This is a great vetiver fragrance. Great for when it's hot outside. This has got like this dry, almost like smoky feel to it. All purpose. You can wear this one dressed down, dressed up to the office. Doesn't matter. Swiss Army Knife type fragrance. One you need to definitely check out if you've never smelled it. 10 buck too. Lay Art de Saint Perfume. Sticking with vetiver, another vetiver fragrance that I think is a little more upscale from the house of Ellie Saab. This is Essence number no. six vetiver. This is a really refined, smooth vetiver that's kind of got a little bit of sweetness to it. I think you can dress this one up, tux, white party, you'll be killing them. Masculine, but it's classy. I really like this one too. If you can get your nose on this one and get your hands on the bottle, this is really worth having in your collection. If you like vetiver, you definitely need to check this one out. That's his number six, Ellie Saab. Outside of Aqua Sextus, I think this is probably one of the, I guess, fragrances to get you a lot of compliments out of the bunch from the house of Mancera. This is Wave Musk. 
if you think about Vagari uh, Aqua Amara, think about that fragrance, more smoothed out, a little more refined. That's what this one is. Perfect for the warm weather. This is definitely perfect for a white party, um, bar and grill. Whatever you're doing, where you're going to be around people, this is going to make people turn their heads. This is going to make the ladies take notice. Trust me, this is a really nice one, and it's a compliment fragrance. So, and it's got Mancera performance, so you don't have to worry about that. Wave Must from the House of Mancera. From the House of Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir, EDP. If you like the original, they took it, they smoothed it out a little bit more. The, the opening isn't as nice, but it's got a little bit more citrus, a little more depth. Still got the classic Narciso Rodriguez musk. Um, it's not a projection monster. This fragrance kind of kind of stays close to the body, but it's definitely an upscale blue type fragrance. If you want an upscale blue fragrance that's going to kind of stay a little closer to you, this is definitely one to check out from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. This is Blue Noir EDP. Last fragrance from the house of Hermes. This is Otre Fresh. This is almost a perfect fragrance to me. I really enjoy this fragrance. I know it's simple. It's not the best smelling fragrance out there, but it's something about this fragrance, man. It works every time you wear it. It's just nice citrus, nice woods, clean vibe, perfect. Perfect for the summertime. Um, I really enjoy this fragrance, and this is the last one. All right, so I thank you guys for checking out the video and rocking with me. I hope you enjoy your summer. It seems like we're kind of getting back to normal. Um, be safe. If you're into vaccination, get vaccinated. You know, I'd say I put that out there because I know everybody's not into the whole idea of getting vaccinated. I got my first shot. Second one is coming up soon. Um, but I thank you guys for rocking with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you choose. Uh, subscribe if you've never subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. More videos are coming. Again, guys, take care. God bless. Peace.